this episode of Did Y'all See? We're discussing Matt Lauer, fired from NBC. We are devastated and we are still processing all of this. Jennifer Hudson's ex awarded primary custody of son and it's official, a black woman is about to be in the royal family. Get into all this tea and more on Did Y'all See? Welcome to Did Y'all See? I'm Tiffany M. Battle and I'm here with my girls, Aviella Moore and Miss Danae B. And Danae's still pregnant. Yeah, we are. Yeah. <laughs> still pregnant <laughs> until about next week, right? Sometimes, who knows? Oh, okay, baby just gonna show up when it feels like it. <laughs> All right, let's get into this week's topic, shall we? We shall. Yes. <laughs> Did y'all see NBC fired Matt Lauer for sexual misconduct? Mm -hmm. NBC News Chairman Andrew Lack told employees in a memo that the complaint which was made by a colleague of Lauer's, prompted a serious review and represented a clear violation of our company's standards. I'm heartbroken for Matt. He is my dear, dear friend and my partner, and he is beloved by many, many people here. It's hard to reconcile what we are hearing with the man who we know who walks in this uh, building every single day. So let me ask you guys, what do you think of this Matt Lauer news? Are you surprised? No, I'm not surprised. Okay. Um, well, you know, I am because I don't know why I felt like he was friendly, but I'm surprised on that end. But my dilemma here is Monday, they got the details about the sexual assault. Right? And then Wednesday, he's fired. Mm -hmm. And they did an extensive investigation. In two days. In two days. So obviously there had to be some type of like video or some type of solid evidence to really get him out the door like that really quickly. It's become, they had an interview with Katie Couric 12 years ago, I yep. think. Mm -hmm. and, and it was saying, she jokingly said it or you know something like, he, he, Matt Lauer pinches my butt all the time. And it was just like, oh, ha ha, Kiki. Right, yeah. I was thinking it could have been like a bunch of different complaints and little things swept under the rug and mm -hmm. then Finally, it's like, okay, this is the straw that's breaking the camel's back. And it's the timing. It's to... Harvey Weinstein. Mm -hmm. It's the timing of it all because white women are at the forefront of this. So now it's causing this big reaction and they are taking down every man in Hollywood. Russell Simmons. Girl. You saw what just happened? No. So like, he is what? taking, he is stepping down as, you know, stepping down from all of his businesses basically like because okay. he wants a new the new generation to to take over but really you heard about the case that happened early uh, 1990s and then someone else just came out so now he's it's that one that of the music industry me. that doesn't surprise no, me either he married kamora when, she, kamora when she was 16. so he's got a history of like you know liking underage women and young it's things. just not it's just now the timing they're like taking every man down now there are real consequences that are happening. Finally. So finally. I want you guys to weigh in. Let us know. What do you guys think about this Matt Lauer situation? Let us know in the comments below. Did y'all see the recent post from Aniko on her Instagram? So I'm going to summarize this long caption. But basically, <laughs> she said along the lines, um, I'm celebrating my post-week postpartum body. She looked amazing, by the way. Yeah, she looked good. She also made mention of being positive and staying stress-free and drama-free on a regular basis during the during pregnancy. the pregnancy exactly so my question is do you believe it I do I believe it <laughs> because listen what you know, Instagram I mean, were you looking she at is the pregnant woman here listen okay. no all right, all right, honestly I'm gonna, I'm gonna like too. When you're pregnant, you really try and block out, like you do block out all negative energy and all the craziness of the world, not even just in your household, in your relationship with your friends, but like the world, you block it out because you really don't want to project that energy into your baby. Who wants a crying baby? So even though her husband admitted to sleeping around or whatever he did in the video, whatever he said, mm -hmm. like, I believe she was like, okay, fuck it, I'll just deal with it after he's out. You didn't go see. that extra mile to say it. It felt like so forced to just say like, like it's just like somebody coming on the gram and saying, my life is perfect. Why you gotta say that? You don't mm. have to say it if it is. Mm -hmm. So we wanna know how you guys feel. Was Aniko being completely honest in her caption? Leave it down in the comments below. Did y'all see David Otunga, AKA Punk, has been awarded primary custody of son with Jennifer Hudson? Here's the backstory. Last week, we learned that Hudson and Otunga split after 10 years and that Hudson filed an order of protection against him because he brought a prop gun into their shared home. 
Later, she dropped the restraining order and the court awarded Otunga primary custody due to Hudson's current busy schedule. So I want y'all to weigh in. Has Jennifer chosen to put her career over raising her son? Mm. No? I don't no? believe so. Because I don't think so either. She probably had this obligation before she knew like things would really hit the fan. So if she already signed this contract with a particular show that she's supposed to be judging on, mm -hmm. like that's her obligation to do that. But if she knew <laughs> that, then why go through all the trouble to file the, the order of protection, to go through all of that if he's been taking care of the son, he's been doing his duties as a father, and she knew she had these time commitments. Like, why would you no. go through all of that? I think the order of protection was a little too far. Really? Okay. I do, because you're still leaving your son with him. Yeah, at yeah. the end of the day. You're still like, all right, baby, go on to your daddy. Even yeah. though five minutes ago, you wouldn't have seen him at all. So that's the part that's a little tricky to me. But mm -hmm. And I think they've been having problems, too, in their relationship of for a while. I don't think it's been like, They've the been best. engaged for almost a decade. Girl, engaged. <laughs> <laughs> they got a grown son about to go to middle school. I know. He's about to be on the voice. <laughs> yeah, because he was in here. Yeah, he did. Hmm. Okay. okay, well, we want you guys to weigh in. What do you guys think of this Jennifer Hudson, David Otunga situation? Is Jennifer putting her career over raising her son? Let us know in the comments below. For this week's Hot Tea of 2017, presented by AT&T, we're recapping the best and worst in style. So this year, we really were feeling white boots, but we're ready to see fur slides go bye-bye. We also really loved metallics, bell sleeves, bell bottoms, and monochromatic suits, but we're ready to say goodbye to mom jeans, bodycon dresses, and corset tops. Off the shoulder, cold shoulder, cutout shoulder has had their moment for 2017 and the year before that and the year before that. So it's time for us to warm up the shoulders and kind of change that up. My favorite trend of the year has been stripes on stripes on stripes. We want to hear from you. What were your favorite style trends of 2017? Tell us in the comments section below. And for more stories like this one, be sure to visit thebridge.att.net for all the latest entertainment news and information. Okay, ladies, let's get into this week's hot mess versus hot mess quick fire round where I will give a topic and you'll let me know if it's hotness or hot mess. Ready? Yes. Let's yes. do it. Can't wait. First up, we have Ray J and Princess Love who are expecting their own child. Versus someone else's. Versus someone else's <laughs> area for them. It's theirs. <laughs> Cute, I guess. I think it's great. Congratulations, Congratulations to you two. <laughs> Next up, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are engaged. Go, Meghan! Moving right along, Tyrese comes clean about wife and Will and Jada. Girl, I'm so tired of talking about Tyrese every single week. I'm so tired of him. Him and his medication or whatever it was Lack that of medication. took him down. He said he was, was on, on the it. medication. And that and made that's him lie. What caused him to go crazy. And last but not least, Tia Maori working out and letting it all hang out. Go on, show us that real I think mommy body. Yes. She she looks good. Yes. Baby bumps are the new trend of 2017. <laughs> 2018. Shout out to all the mamas that's working out. Yeah. All right, so let us know if you agree or disagree with this week's hot mess versus hot mess topics. Leave it in the comments below. Thank you all so much for joining us for this week's episode of Did Y'all See? Remember to keep the conversation going. Like, subscribe, turn on your notifications, and keep your head up or you'll drop your crown. See you guys next week. Mm -hmm.